Hello, brethren. I would like to take a moment and give you a tour of one of the new features of our website. I hope that you find it beneficial and informative. The Lodge Locator has some powerful features. It can be accessed in a variety of ways. The two easiest ways are through the Quick Links menu to the right of the website or through the image of a map at the very bottom of the website. Clicking on either one of these will take you to the Lodge Locator. Here you can look for a lodge in a number of different ways. Allow me to first explain a default setting to you. The last option in our search is Show Lodges Within, which has a default value of 500 miles, well enough to cover the entire state of Mississippi, no matter what corner of it you may live in or be traveling to. While results will always be shown to you from closest to furthest, you can limit just how far the locator will search by changing this value, which I will demonstrate later. However, the default value is set to 500 miles to ensure that the map does not exclude any results on accident. The first option available to you is to type the name of a lodge. For our example, I will try to locate Moss Point Lodge number 202. I will type Moss Point and press enter. This type of search is useful when you know you want to visit a specific lodge or you need directions or contact information for just that lodge. The website quickly locates the lodge I am looking for and displays it to me on a map. Below the map, I also see a text version of the results. There are several ways to interact with this information. On the map, I can click the pin on the map, which opens up another window with details about the lodge, such as the address, a few links we will talk about more in a minute, the name and phone number of their secretary, and the day of their stated meeting. The same information is presented to me down below the map. You may notice that below the name of the lodge, a distance is listed. By default, the map thinks you are located at the Grand Lodge office, so that distance will be reflected here. Before I move on to our next example, I'm going to delete Moss Point from the lodge name field. Now I will move on to our next search option, typing in an address or zip code, as well as the option to select a city. This option is great for travelers. For our example, I will imagine that I am going to attend a conference in Jackson, Mississippi. I am not from Jackson, but I will be in the area long enough that I would like to try and visit a lodge. If there is a lodge whose address is in Jackson, Mississippi, then that city will be listed in the drop-down menu. If it were not, I could manually enter the name of the city into the address bar just above the drop-down. Now that I have Jackson, Mississippi selected, I'm going to click Find Lodges. Oh my, it's going to be very hard for me to try to find a lodge to visit with this kind of information. The entire state of Mississippi has been dotted with locations. This is because we did not adjust the distance field. However, I do want you to notice that below the map, the text results have been sorted by distance. We just did not limit the distance on what lodges would be displayed on the map. For our example, I am going to suppose that I am willing to travel up to 25 miles to visit a lodge. I am going to change the distance field from 500 to 25 miles and click the Find Lodges button. That looks a lot more manageable. Having these two options available to you, using either the text links down below or the map above, can be useful for different needs. If you simply wish to find the closest lodge, then the text results below the map are the most useful. However, viewing the map results can allow you to notice if a lodge is on your way to another location, but not necessarily the closest one to where you currently are. For example, in looking at the results for Jackson, Mississippi, Pearl Lodge number 23 is the closest. However, if I expect to have to travel to McGee down Highway 49, then perhaps this lodge, Braxton Lodge number 465, would be the most convenient visit for me to make. We can also restrict our searches by only showing lodges within a particular county or Masonic district. To do this, simply select a county in the drop-down 
and click the Find Lodges button. For our example, I'm going to choose Forest County. Notice that the map is now only displaying to me the lodges that are within Forest County. You will use the exact same process to locate lodges within a particular Masonic District. For our example, I will select Masonic District number 7 and click Find Lodges. Only the lodges within Masonic District number 7 are displayed to me. There are more features to this lodge locator that I would like to share with you. You notice that before, in both the map view and in the text view, there are links. One says Lodge Page, and the other says Click for Directions. First, let me show you the Lodge Page. For this example, I will click on Tupelo Lodge number 318. This is the Lodge Page. It displays the same information you saw back on the Lodge Locator, as well as any further information that has been provided to the webmaster by the Lodge such as their independent website, a Facebook page or group, other social media sites, and so on. Going back to the map, I'm going to click for directions. This will open a new window with Google Maps where I can get directions to the lodge. Remember that to begin with, the lodge locator believes that I am at the Grand Lodge office in Meridian. To change this, I can change my start address here, press enter, and receive new directions from my actual starting location. That covers all the basics of the Lodge Locator. Thank you, brethren, for taking a moment to review this video. If you have any further questions, or wish to make any suggestions, you can find my contact information listed below. You can also reach me via the website. Thank you.